Welcome, medical detectives. Today, we are about to embark on a journey through the pitfalls and challenges of reading chest x-rays, a path that separates the ordinary from the extraordinary. As future medical champions, it's crucial to learn from the missteps that can hinder our quest for the correct diagnosis. When left unchecked, these common mistakes can have serious repercussions on our patients' lives. Today, we're diving into the five most common mistakes in reading chest x-rays. Each error has the potential to alter the course of patient care and treatment. So, are you ready? Mistake number one, ignoring the basics. Rushing through an x-ray without thoroughly examining the bones, airways, and soft tissues can lead to missed fractures, foreign bodies, or even hidden tumors. To start with the basics. First, you have to jump into these general principles. Read x-rays yourself. Be systematic. Serially compare. Observe symmetry. Believe you missed a finding. Let's go one by one. Read x-rays yourself. Trust your own eyes and brain before seeking others' opinions. Get in front of the chest x-ray in the monitor or the view box also call the illuminator, never in your hands. Be systematic. Adopt a methodical approach. Systematically analyze bones, soft tissues, airways, and lung fields. This way, no hidden treasure escapes your keen eyes. You can use an inside-out approach from central to peripheral or out inside from peripheral to central, remember you can go to the bottom of the x-ray to the top or vice versa. Serially compare. Always compare the current x-ray to previous ones, if available. Changes over time hold the keys to uncovering evolving conditions. Observe symmetry. A principle that reveals asymmetries, guiding you towards diagnosing hidden fractures, pneumothorax, or even a misplaced tube. Believe you missed a finding? Cultivate humility, for no superhero is infallible. Revisit x-rays with fresh eyes, ensuring you never miss a vital clue, so you have to read the x-ray at least three times from different positions and distances. Another basic patient details. Knowing the patient's details, including their clinical history, physical examination findings, and initial impression, is of utmost importance when reading a chest x-ray. These details provide critical context and guide the interpretation, leading to more accurate and meaningful diagnostic conclusions. Here's why these elements are crucial. The clinical history offers valuable insights into the patient's presenting symptoms, medical background, and any pre-existing conditions. It helps direct your attention to specific areas of concern and potential diagnoses. For instance, knowing if the patient has a history of lung infections, cardiac issues, or trauma can influence the interpretation of the X-ray. Physical examination. The the findings from a physical examination can complement the clinical history and provide essential clues. For example, if a patient presents with localized chest pain and the physical examination reveals tenderness over a specific area, you may focus on examining that area more closely in the X-ray. Impression or Initial Diagnosis the initial impression or preliminary diagnosis offers valuable guidance to you or the radiologist. It sets the direction for the X-ray interpretation and helps in identifying potential abnormalities or confirming suspicions. Focused Evaluation Armed with the patient's clinical history, physical examination findings, and initial impression, you or the radiologist can conduct a focused evaluation of the X-ray. This saves time, enhances efficiency, and ensures that nothing crucial is overlooked. Reducing errors 
by integrating the patient's details into the interpretation process, you or the radiologist can reduce errors and increase diagnostic accuracy. This patient-centered approach minimizes the risk of misdiagnosis and enhances patient safety. Tailored Recommendations Knowing the patient's details enables you or the radiologist to provide tailored recommendations for further imaging or diagnostic tests. This helps in confirming or ruling out potential diagnoses, leading to more targeted and effective patient management. Another basic is chest X-ray positions which refer to the different ways in which a patient is positioned and the direction of the X-ray beam during the imaging process. These positions are essential to obtain specific views of the chest, allowing for a comprehensive evaluation of the lungs, heart, bones, and other structures. There are two main chest X-ray positions commonly used. Posterior anterior In the PA view, the patient stands facing the X-ray machine, and the X-ray beam is directed from behind, posterior, through the chest to the front, anterior. The patient's arms are usually raised and resting on a horizontal support. This position is the standard view for chest X-rays and is useful for evaluating the lung fields, heart size, and bony structures. It provides a natural anatomical perspective and is typically the first view taken during a chest X-ray examination. Ontero posterior in the AP view, the patient stands with their back facing the X-ray machine, and the X-ray beam is directed from the front, anterior, through the chest to the back, posterior. The patient's arms may be raised or placed on their hips. While the AP view is sometimes used for specific situations, it is generally less preferred compared to the PA view. This is because the AP view may result in magnification of the heart, leading to potential errors in assessing heart size and lung fields. In addition to the standard PA and AP views, there are other specialized positions used for specific clinical scenarios, including lateral view and decubitus view. And the last of these basics is the evaluation of the technique. Evaluating the chest X-ray technique is essential to ensure the quality and accuracy of the image. The three critical aspects to assess are inspiration, penetration, and rotation. Inspiration refers to the depth of breath the patient takes during the X-ray. A well-executed chest X-ray should show the lung fields fully expanded with clear visualization of the diaphragm. This is achieved by instructing the patient to take a deep breath and hold it during the exposure. A lack of adequate inspiration can lead to underexposed lung fields, making it difficult to detect abnormalities and reducing the overall image quality. Penetration refers to the level of X-ray penetration through the chest. It is crucial to achieve the right balance of penetration to visualize structures within the chest clearly. Overpenetration, excessive exposure, can result in a very dark image, making it difficult to assess subtle details. Underpenetration, insufficient exposure, can lead to a very light image, obscuring important structures. Proper penetration ensures that the lung fields, bones, and soft tissues are well defined and adequately visualized. Rotation refers to the alignment of the patient's chest and the X ray detector. In a well-centered chest X-ray, the spinous processes of the vertebral column should be equidistant from the mediastinum. If the patient's chest is rotated too much to the left or right, it can lead to asymmetry in the lung fields and other structures. This can make it challenging to identify abnormalities accurately and may result in misdiagnoses. To evaluate these technical aspects during the interpretation of a chest X-ray, Check for proper inspiration, look at the diaphragm's position, should be low in a well-inspired image and elevated in a poorly inspired one. Assess penetration, evaluate the overall density of the lung fields and the visibility of the vertebral bodies. Adequate penetration allows for clear visualization of both lung parenchyma and bony structures.
check for rotation, assess symmetry between the left and right lung fields, the sternoclavicular joints, and the spinous processes of the vertebrae. Any visible asymmetry may indicate rotation. Mistake number two. Misinterpreting opacities. Failing to differentiate between consolidations and infiltrations can lead to misdiagnosed infections or delayed treatment. A consolidation appears as a dense, homogeneous area of opacity on the chest X-ray. It occurs when the air spaces within the lung tissue fill with fluid, blood, pus, or other substances, replacing the normal air-filled alveoli. Consolidations are typically associated with infections such as pneumonia, but they can also be caused by other conditions like pulmonary edema or tumors. Infiltrates are another type of opacity but differ from consolidations in their appearance. Infiltrates are patchy or hazy areas of increased density, often scattered throughout the lung fields. They are caused by inflammatory cells and fluid filling the interstitial spaces between the alveoli. Infiltrates are commonly seen in conditions like interstitial lung diseases or early stages of infections. The significance of differentiating between consolidations and infiltrates lies in their potential underlying causes and the appropriate treatment implications. Misinterpreting an area of consolidation as an infiltrate or vice versa can lead to the following consequences. Misdiagnosed infections if a consolidation caused by a bacterial pneumonia is mistaken for an infiltrate, the patient may not receive timely and targeted antibiotic treatment. Delayed treatment can worsen the infection and lead to complications. Inappropriate management Different conditions require specific treatments. Misinterpreting an opacity can result in the administration of medications or therapies that may not be effective for the actual underlying cause. Delayed diagnoses Misinterpretations can lead to delays in identifying and addressing serious conditions, prolonging the patient's suffering and delaying the initiation of appropriate interventions. Mistake number three. Neglecting the lung apices. Overlooking the lung apices can result in missed tuberculosis or other lung diseases lurking in the shadows. Here's why it's essential to pay close attention to the lung apices during chest X-ray interpretation. TB is a contagious bacterial infection that primarily affects the lungs. It commonly involves the upper lobes and lung apices. Neglecting to evaluate the apical regions may lead to a delayed diagnosis of TB, as early signs of the disease can be missed. This delay in diagnosis can result in the spread of TB to other individuals and more severe disease progression in the affected patient. Other lung diseases Apart from TB, various other lung diseases can involve the lung apices. These include certain types of lung infections, lung tumors, and inflammatory conditions. Detecting abnormalities in the apical regions is crucial for an accurate diagnosis and timely initiation of appropriate treatment. Mistake number four, the heart of the matter. Misjudging the heart's size and shape can lead to undiagnosed cardiac conditions that may affect patient outcomes. The heart's evaluation is a crucial part of chest X-ray interpretation, as it provides essential information about cardiac health and can help diagnose various cardiac conditions. Misinterpreting the heart's size and shape can lead to undiagnosed cardiac abnormalities, potentially impacting patient outcomes in the following ways. Missed cardiac enlargement. The heart's size on a chest X-ray can indicate if it is enlarged, which may be a sign of various heart conditions, such as congestive heart failure, cardiomyopathy, or valvular disorders. Misjudging an enlarged heart could delay the diagnosis and initiation of appropriate treatments, potentially leading to worsened cardiac function and complications. Mistake number five. Misinterpreting lines and tubes. Misidentifying medical lines or overlooking chest tube malposition can have serious consequences for our patients.
Avoid this mistake and ensure accurate interpretation of lines and tubes on a chest X-ray. Know the placement. Radiologists and healthcare professionals must be familiar with the common placements of medical lines and tubes. Understanding their expected positions in the chest can aid in accurate identification. Communication with clinical team. You should communicate with the clinical team to confirm the presence and location of lines and tubes, especially if they are not clearly labeled in the X-ray. Pay attention to context. Consider the clinical context and the patient's medical history when interpreting chest X-rays. This can help in correctly identifying the purpose and placement of the lines and tubes. Image review. Review the X-ray carefully, paying attention to the location, number, and configuration of lines and tubes to ensure they are correctly identified. Consider additional imaging. In cases of uncertainty or when critical decisions are dependent on line or tube placement, additional imaging modalities like ultrasound or fluoroscopy may be used to confirm their positioning. Remember, medical heroes, these common mistakes are not meant to discourage you. Instead, they are stepping stones to excellence. By learning from these errors, we become better diagnosticians, heroes who can save lives and deliver precise treatments. So, embrace the challenge, my fellow medical champions. Together, we will rise above these pitfalls, for our patients' lives are in our hands. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and like.